Hi guys, Virginia here and I'm back with another card making video for you today. This will be the last one I promise and I'll be back to uh, scrapbooking process videos next week. So what I'm going to make is a lawn fawn scalloped uh, pop-up box card. I love these cards, they're so fun and really cool. I am planning on making um, a bunch of these as actual invitations for my daughter's birthday next year. So. What I've done is cut two of the outside panels in that cute little mermaid uh, paper from uh, Eco Park. Um, it's an older collection. And I'm also cutting three of the inside uh, panels out of white cardstock for uh, the box. So I've cut out most of it, but I'm just showing you that's the three there. And now I'm going to work at piecing the box together. So I'm folding along each of the score lines that the die creates run it through the cutting machine and just fold over those tabs using my bone, fo bone folder to make sure everything's nicely creased and fold down those back panels as well and I'm just going to use a thin bit of um, double side tape along those two little edge flaps to the second one trim it off and then I'm going to line it up, remove the backing, and just press it down. So there we go, we've got part of the box made. Now I'm going to work at these three inside panels. So I'm going to fold down all of those uh, little flaps on the score lines, and just put double sided tape on both of them, both edges, and I'm just going to work at lining them up. So as you can see, I'm just trying to keep it straight along with that uh, score line at the top and I'm just going to add the three on these edges, spacing them apart kind of evenly. And the third one kind of close to the front of the box. Line that up straight. Make sure those ends are straight. Remove the tape of the other three ends. It says I find the easiest way to do the box and then just make sure it's straight and flip that box over and then those white inside panels should be adhered in exactly the same place on the other opposite side of the box as they are on the front and there we go remove that last bit of tape backing and there is the box completed with the little three inserts I, know, I love playing with them. They take a bit of, um, the more you play with them, the better they work when the recipient gets them. So, so now I'm going to work at um, decorating the box pretty much. I've just got some white cardstock and I'm going to take two of the panels, that back panel and the front panel, as you can see, and just cut them out of white cardstock. And I like them, they give a nice little stitched border around that lawn fauna known for so that's my front panel and the other one is the back panel for the inside so I'm just using a lawn fawn um, these little happy birthday stamps and I'm just going to stamp to happy birthday and from and just using my we are memory keepers precision press and and some uh, memento black tuxedo ink and sample them down. Just lining them up, making sure that they're straight. Pull that down. Now I've cut out, I've had to cut out quite a bit and speed up large bits of the video. These cards, um, they take a lot of time, a long time to make. I think this one unedited was an hour and 10 minutes <laughs> and I've got it down to 15 minutes so <laughs> yeah it's um incredibly time consuming to create detailed cards like this but um, I think that they are worth it I love them so okay so that's stamped I did the front panel with the happy birthday greeting and on the back panel um, I just did uh, waving hello and that's from the mermaid for you stamp set as well so I'm just going to adhere them down some double sided tape just making sure it's square 
here we go my two panels are done so now I'm going to work on uh, decorating those three flaps that open up and I thought I could do some kind of sandy um, mounds I guess <laughs> across the front so I've just pulled out my distress inks and uh, scattered straw and squeeze lemonade and I'm just kind of just ink up with my foam blending tool on some watercolour cardstock uh, just enough for the size die that I'm going to cut out okay so I'm just laying down my um, squeeze lemonade first and then going over at the top just uh, with a bit of scattered straw and that just gives a bit of interest and makes it look a little sandy <laughs> ish <laughs> um, I think uh, it's a lot better than just using plain colour cardstock it's a lot more interesting okay so I've cut three panels using the uh, pieces from this collapsed uh, box pop up set and I'm just going to trim each of them a little bit with my scissors just make a kind of like a little curve so it looks like a bit of a sandy beach but yeah, okay so I'll cut that out um, I don't make you watch all of that and now I'm going to work on the waves for the inside section so I'm just using the last of that piece of that water colour paper and I'm just going to use um, I think I pull in a bit of I start with salty ocean um, and then work in a bit of Mermaid Lagoon in my distress sinks just blending that together and then I do decide to actually bring in a bit of peacock feathers as well just a bit of green um, turquoise kind of green to just kind of give it a bit more interest in it as well uh, and make it look a bit more like an ocean scene ok so I've trimmed that piece of watercolour cardstock down to the right size uh, that will fit inside the box and I'm just using these scissors they've got like a wave type uh, pattern to them and that's going to make my waves so I've cut three panels and I'm going to adhere them with a bit of uh, dip sided tape into each of those three sections inside the box ok so that's the first one just lining it up, making sure it's straight and pressing down hard to make sure that it stays put. Okay, so that's all three done. And I've just kind of teared them up. Each one, the front one's a little bit lower, the next one is a little bit higher, and the last one is just a little bit higher again. And now I'm back in with my Wii uh, Memory Keepers Precision press and just stamping on some 110 pound Nina Solar White card stock with my Momento Tuxedo Black ink um, some of the stamps from the Mermaid for You collection just a couple of the mermaids, stone, fish and um, a little seashell and tiara for their heads and I do also come in, I don't have a huge array of ink so I'm going to use my distress inks in different colours and um, stamp some seaweed out as well ok so I'm just going to work at colouring in my images now and I am using my Reno Art alcohol markers um, just using a couple of colours for the skin and blending them in and I don't make you watch all of it, there we go, it's the last one, so fish, I'm just using a yellow and I'll put in a bit of orange and then I'll take back the yellow and blend it all together there we go ok so I will take that over to my cuddle bug and I'm just going to tape down the co coordinating dies uh, with some scotch low tech tape to hold it in place and run it through my cuddle book it's a stone a little pearl tiara and I'll do some of the seaweed as well I'm not going to be able to do all of them in one pass because I stamped them just quite close together I mean if you weren't a frugal crafter like I am <laughs> who doesn't like to waste product um, 
you could stamp the images further apart and probably cut them all in one pass but um, I like to get the most use out of my supplies and so I stamp them just quite close together so there we go they're all cut out and I'm just kind of gonna start working out where I want to put things I'm just gonna adhere all the images with some little glue dots but no first I decided the mermaids need a little bit of a detail so I'm just using my clear Winker Stella brush and that leaves a clear coat of uh, glittery sparkly stuff there but you can kind of see it it's not very good on camera but it just makes the tails uh, mermaid tails really nice and sparkly and pretty so yeah okay so I've come back I decided I needed a couple more images so I've just uh, stamped a crab and uh, a seahorse and a shell and a starfish and um, now I'm just going to work at gluing down that little shell onto the mermaid's hair. Just a little scotch quick dry tape. Um, glue, <laughs> not tape. <laughs> there we go. Okay, so I'm gonna I'm gonna build the rest of my scene now. That crab, by the way, was not from the mermaid for you. It's from uh, Critters of the Sea. Um, but everything else is from mermaid for you. Glue dots, put them in place. And my little crab, I'm going to stick on the front panel. And that was when I started degrading, I realised I didn't have enough stuff to decorate those panels on the side, so that's why I went back and um, did some other images just to fill it up, make it look really abundant and full. <laughs> Okay, so just doing some seaweed now, two seaweed at the front and I'm going to tuck that little seahorse in between them, like it's hiding. <laughs> and the fish, now I wanted the fish to float so I'm grabbing a bit of plastic, this is off some plastic packaging, I find that acetate is too flimsy. Uh, so it's just clear packaging like you would find from your ephemera or whatever. I just kind of hold on to bits like that and I've cut a small little bit off. And I'm just adhering it with some glue dots. And anyway, I'm showing you. And I'm going to stick it to that back section. So the fish look like they are floating. There we go. I love that. That's pretty cool. Okay, so I'm just going to work at finishing off those last two side panels. And there we go. Done. Lots of stuff in there. Bright and pretty, great for a birthday card, a little girl's birthday card. But I do decide, um, just for a little bit further detail, I'm going to pull out my glossy accents and just put some on the starfish and the shell and the crown on the mermaids, and that'll be it. Okay, so I will be back. Um, next video will be a process video, a scrapbooking process video. I promise. Okay, bye.